Welcome back, explorers, to another week of Wilderness Wednesday. This week, we will be earning our Asian culture badge. Wilderness explorers meet people from all over the world. There is no better sign of friendship and respect than talking with people or learning about their countries and cultures. Yes. All right, so where are you from? From Florida. From Florida, well, here. I'm from India and she's from Thailand. We'll find where is Florida and then we'll find India and Thailand. Okay, well, Florida is right here. So which place in Florida? We're right... Uh, right, right there in Orlando, where okay. which the finger seems to. So be you want to find too. where's India? Yes, um, right here. Right there. Yeah. And what about Thailand? Not so Thailand far from India. Not, down no, it's from right China. Down here. Uh, yes. Good. So how long was your travel from your home? Like an hour? Yeah. You guys are so lucky. You want to yeah. guess how long was our travel? So for me, it was 24 hours in the oh. plane. So for me, 24 hours on the plane also, yeah. We flew this way. Yeah. Oh, we went so that way. Yes. Okay. So we're gonna have one stop in Dubai and then rest Come like straight point. 16 hours in wow. the plane. Yeah. Wow. That's a long time. Yeah. That's a long time. <laughs> so the language we speak in India and Thailand is also different. So the language we speak in India is called Hindi. Yes. So do you want to try how do we say hello and goodbye in India? Yes. Yes. Okay, for that, it's very really easy. We're gonna put our hands together. Bow your head a little bit and say Namaste. Namaste. Yes, so Namaste is hello and goodbye in our country. So it means the good in my soul respects the good in your soul. And when we bow, we show respect to one another. I yeah. love it. So for Thailand, we have the same posture, like you have the same gesture. So we put your hands together and bow your head. And we're gonna say Sawadi. Sawadi. Yeah, so that was we also use for both hello and goodbye. And when you bow your head, is to show respect to one another. Yes, and also for female speaker to show politeness, we're gonna say Sawadi ka. Can you say it? Sawadi ka. Sawadi ka. And then. For, what would it be for males? For, for the female speaker, we're gonna say Sawati ka. And for male speaker, mm -hmm. we say Sawati krap. Sawati krap? Yeah, so the word ka and krap is to show respect. So you can put ka and krap at the end of every sentence. Yeah, or any sentence to show respect. So the masculine and the feminine, basically, for. For the speaker, yes. Exactly, yeah. And this is fun fact about the language that we have in Asia. So I would say that, like, Asia is a big continent, right? And we have lots of countries in Asia. We have different culture and we have different language. Also, we have different food, too. We have lots of things different. Good yeah. food. So, yeah, exactly, yeah. That's what is your favorite meal? Like, what do you miss the most about home? Miss the most about home, I would say, well, I miss the feeling that I just go home and then food is something. She's good. like there. She's yes. like, boom. Ready. <laughs> yes, that's the, the best feeling. <laughs> that is the best feeling in Greece. What about you? Have you tried any Asian food before? I have. Which I one have. is your favorite? The, the broth, like the broth, like the flavors uh, that they're yes, putting into right. the broths. And, the, and I'm a weakling when it comes to spice. Mm -hmm. So I know in India, yes. I... I love the flavor that they have oh, yeah. that they put into oh, their which food. Which food do you try? Um, cur like some curry. curry. Some curries. I love mango curry. Yes. And the mango sticky rice. Oh, that's in like Thailand. Is it Thailand? Yes. Oh, yes. that was yes. so good. <laughs> mango so sticky good. rice. Have you tried amazing. Yes. Yes, samosas. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mind they are so good. And I love. Um, what are the other ones that are? Um, they're vegetarian too, but they're is it ca ca that's not kaffa. A dog in like color red. Yes, yes, yes. It's also yummy. Yeah, oh, it's so good. It was so good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. That is your name in Hindi and in Thai. Oh my yeah. gosh, that's so cool. Thank you. Now, I have a question. Yes. Do you guys read from right to left, or you left to left right? To right. Left, left to right. right. Oh, okay. Yes, the same right. as in English. Perfect. Yes. Yay! Thank you. I You're love welcome. It. Thank you so much. In conclusion about learning about both the Thai and Hindi cultures, we have learned that they both like to read from left to right. They have amazing food and they both give a very generous greeting. For our wilderness explorers at home wanting to earn their badge, here are a few things that you can do. You can do some research online about a country and culture in Asia, you can reach out and make a new pen pal 
And of course, you can maybe send out a couple of messages and make some new friends on a social media platform like Instagram or Facebook. Of course, all of this needs to be done with the help and supervision of your parents. Please feel free to share with us your findings by using the hashtag TPE Wilderness Explorers.